Hello and welcome to my review on the Panasonic 7-14 uh, wide-angle lens, uh, f4 throughout the whole range, and my Panasonic 12-35 f2.8 um, lens. Again, it's f2.8 throughout the whole range. These two lenses I recently purchased, they're the professional end of Panasonic's uh, lenses, and they're absolutely superb. They're Designed for the Micro Four Thirds format, I've actually got the 7-14 attached to my Olympus OMD EM5. A great camera, and I'll be doing a review on that uh, shortly. Um, but back to the lenses. These two lenses I purchased predominantly for doing video work. Um, and you'll see some of the video I've shot on uh, both these lenses. Uh, great quality, beautifully made. Um, we'll start with the 7-14 as it's attached to the camera. Um, Beautiful lens, it's got a silky smooth um, zoom function and a silky smooth uh, focus if you need to use it for manual focusing, which in video you tend to do more often than not. Um, absolutely beautiful quality. They're really compact lenses, they're not big at all. Um, and that's the beauty of a Micro Four Thirds format. They're quite light, but very beautifully made. The 7 to 14 has got a bulgous um, end, so you actually can't put filters on the oven um, lens. Um, and the lens cap is permanently attached to the actual lens. Um, it does come with a very nice um, cap that you can uh, slot on it. Try not to lose the cap though, because I do gather they're not easily replaceable. You can't get these parts, so I'm told. One caveat with this particular lens though, on the Panasonic bodies um, is absolutely great, but on the Olympus bodies, under very rare conditions, you do get some purple fringing or chromatic aberration, and you'll see in this particular image um, that's coming up, um, it shows it around the actual trees. That can You can get rid of that uh, in uh, most software, but there's something to be aware of. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's quite annoying. On Panasonic bodies, I've tested it on my G7 and no purple fringing at all, or very minimal purple fringing. Um, that does seem to be a problem with some wide angle lenses, um, but it's not a big issue for me. So, uh, and that's that lens. Um, very, very nicely made, um, quite expensive, but um, you get what you pay for and you do with that particular lens. Now, the next lens is the um, 12 to 35. Again, this is the pro range. It's f2.8 throughout the entire range of the lens. So uh, from right 12 right through to 35, you've got a constant f2.8 aperture, which is ideal for video. In fact, it's quite crucial for video, I think. Um, again, silky smooth zoom, beautiful that is, and a very wide focus ring. Again, very important for manual focusing, particularly when you're working with uh, video. Um, pretty, pretty important. So, um, as for the build quality is stonking. It's really, really nice build quality. And very, very compact, as you can see. Um, it's not a big lens at all. Um, it has got uh, iOS, op optical image stabilization built into the lens. Um, very useful and very important for Panasonic bodies because the Panasonic G7 and the GH4, G7 I'm filming over there, um, and the GH4 is my main camera of what I'm using. Um, the, the G7 and the GH4 doesn't have built-in image stabilization in the body, so you rely on it on the lens. Interestingly, the 7 to 14 hasn't got image stabilization, so just be uh, just be conscious of that when you're using it on a GH4 for filming or G7. Um, you won't, you know, you won't get image stabilization, and because it's an f/4 lens, that makes it even worse in low light because it hasn't got the image stabilization to counteract that. But uh, this lens f/2.8 with image stabilization, when it's fitted to an Olympus body, 
um, you don't have to worry about the image stabilization on either of the lenses because it's built into the um, body of the camera. And the five axis image stabilization on the EM5 is very, very good. I've shot, I've gone right down to, you know, one tenth of a second um, and whatever, um, and it's worked beautifully. You still get a really nice sharp image. And the image quality from these lenses on uh, the Olympus and on the Panasonic is absolutely superb. So uh, there we go, um, that's my thoughts on these two lenses. Uh, I do hope you like my reviews, please click on the like button and please subscribe to keep up to date with more reviews that I do. And uh, thanks for watching.